guys for the opportunity to talk to you. Um, Jovel preceding me um, was a great opportunity to work from outside of the car, going inside of the car. A little brief history of my interests. I have loved cars since I was a kid and played with the Matchbox cars. Now I play with the real things today. Uh, with technology and newer cars being as they are, they get really hard to just tinker with and do stuff with. So I'm going to show you a skill today that is simple and that many of you can do to your own cars. First of all, I'll raise your hands. Anybody that changes their own oil in their car today? Okay, anybody that knows how to do it but doesn't do it? Okay, well, a lot of people don't do it because it's just easier to drive to the gym, you lose, grease monkey or whatever, have some else do it in 10 minutes, 15 minutes flat. So I'm gonna show you a way to save some money and you can learn how to do this on uh, your own time. Basically, oil is like the blood of a car, uh, as blood is to us. So it's very important to change it, keep it healthy, otherwise you're gonna have some major problems uh, in the future. It's a very dirty task. You're not gonna be want, wanting to wear what I'm wearing today. You're gonna want some old shirts, oh, uh, old shorts as well. Safety, of course, is number one priority. You wanna engage your emergency brake uh, you want to have a flat land for both proper oil drainage and, of course, your safety. And for proper weight distribution of the vehicle in general. You want to allow the engine to also cool down so you don't scald your skin or any close tight parts that you may come in contact with. Now that safety is out of the way, we can get started. Again, we're going to change motor oil. We first want to locate where our where our drip pan is located, which is which are these two pictures here. There's a small plug at the bottom. That is where you want to pull out uh, the, the plug, unscrew it, unbolt it, let the oil flow freely. Secondly, it's the little the black, remote. black remote that you need. The black remote. Oh, okay. Secondly, you want to find is an oil filter. This is typically white or orange, like shown here. And in the bottom uh, left-hand corner is the oil filter wrench that some people use if it's a little bit too tight to do. Once all your oil is drained, everything is cleaned out, we can basically do the same thing but in reverse. Starting again by putting on your new oil filter. Again, hand tight. Going back under your vehicle, screwing the bolt back in. That is then when it's time to put in the proper amount of oil the proper type of oil, depending on weight, and the proper proper oil filter, of course, too, which all of these are located in your vehicle manuals that should be in the glove box of your car. So it's, it's a pretty uh, self-explanatory thing, and um, it be easy for anybody to do to save time and money at your local shop. So thank you.